Welcome to the X2 Biosystems IMS video tutorial. Today I will teach you how to browse impacts, assign a new device to a player, and upload impacts. In this video I will demonstrate how to use the IMS software to browse previously uploaded impacts using the X2 Cloud. After accepting the user agreement and logging in, you will be prompted to select the team you want to view impacts for. Once selected, you will be brought to the impact screen. From here, you can view individual or team impacts and also generate impact summaries. The main tool for browsing impact history is a calendar pop-up and the four time period buttons below the calendar. Selecting day will display impacts for the selected date. Selecting week, month, season will display impacts up to that date. For example, selecting week will show impacts for the seven days leading up to the selected date. The default view on the impact screen shows impacts for the entire team. To view an individual's impact history, simply select the athlete from the roster on the left. Once selected, double click on an individual impact to see the impact's waveform and location. On the impact screen, you can also generate impact summaries for the selected time period. To do so, click on the Generate One Line for Impact Summary button near the bottom of the impact screen. From here, you can decide what summary parameters to include, such as PLA, PRA, and impact location. You can also choose to include clacks or not. A clack is X2's term for a fake hit such as tapping the X patch with your finger or dropping it on the ground. Since these hits register above the default 10G threshold, they are also recorded. By selecting No, these false hits will be filtered out of the impact summary by the IMS software. Once the summary has completed, the file will be saved to the CSV export folder inside the IMS installation folder. This video will demonstrate how to use the IMS software to assign a new device to a player. After accepting the user agreement and logging in, select the team you would like to assign the athlete to. Place the X patch on the data port of the charging board and click on the Devices button in the bottom right. If the X patch does not already have a player assigned, you will need to assign it before you can upload impacts. To assign the X patch to a player, select the athlete from the roster on the left and click the Assign to Player button. You will then be prompted to select what type of device it is, in this case, an X patch. Once this is done, you can upload impacts for that device. The device assignment process is a one time thing, and a player can have any number of devices simultaneously assigned to them. This last video will demonstrate how to use the IMS software to upload impacts after a practice or game. After accepting the user agreement and logging in, select the team you would like to upload impacts for. Place the X patch on the data port of the charging board and click on the Devices button in the bottom right. If the X patch does not already have a player assigned, you will need to assign it before you can upload impacts. To upload impacts, Simply click on the Sync Impacts button. Impacts will be read from the device and uploaded to the xCloud. You will be prompted to select how the X patch is worn. Once uploaded, make sure to erase the impacts off the X patch with the Erase button, or check the Erase Device After Sync box to do this automatically. Don't fear though, impacts will only be erased if the upload is successful. To upload impacts from another X patch, remove the first X patch from the data port and replace it with the one that still needs to be synced. Click on the Devices button again to refresh the info in the IMS with the new X patch on the data port. If an X patch goes too long without charging, the time on the device will be reset to zero. To sync the X patch time to your PC time, click the Sync Time button. You have now completed the X2 Biosystems IMS video tutorial. For more information, please visit us at x2bio.com.